2009 comes to an end. Local restaurant owners are reflecting on the changes they had to make to get through a difficult year financially. But they also say they're benefiting from a community that embraces the idea of buying local. News 3's Emily Roloff now joins us from the News Center with more. Emily. Buying local is keeping those customers coming, and owners say when folks choose a local restaurant, 60 to 70 percent of the money they spend stays in the area, a statistic that's making a big difference. 2009 has taught Robert Miller, co-owner of the Old Fashioned, one thing in particular. In these sort of economic times, you appreciate all the business that comes through your door. Business, he says, took some extra effort this year. Running a lot of different specials, uh, emphasizing a lot of local beers, putting beer on special, uh, and making a lot of changes in that area to keep things fresh. Changes many independent restaurants are making in order to get by. The margins in a restaurant are so, so small to operate, and especially a small local local restaurant and you know one or two diners per night can make the difference between profitability or not. Robert von Rutenberg is president of Madison Originals, a group of more than 30 locally owned restaurants. I think we're going from you know pulling so far back now that we're going to come back out in this next year and I think people are going to really come out to eat again. I think you're going to see restaurants be very budget conscious but also really um, trying new things and trying to get more customers or lure their old ones back. An optimistic outlook Miller holds for his restaurant too, giving him extra reason for celebrating the new year. We have a few things, looking at some different menu items, some fun little promotions going into next year. So, you know, we hope to shake things up a little bit. The outgoing president of Madison Originals also says higher priced restaurants took a bigger hit this year. He says most folks don't want to give up going out, so instead they just spend less when they do. That's what I wish all our local businesses better luck in 2010. Emily Roloff for 29. Emily, thank you.